If I would have known five years ago what I do now about my Jeep, I could have saved not only money, but also gotten a better experience out of my Jeep over the last five years. So the goal of today's video is to make sure you don't make the same mistakes that I did, and hopefully you get maximum enjoyment out of your Jeep. So here are my top five mistakes that I've made since owning my Jeep. So very quickly, for those of you new to the channel, this is my 1999 Jeep Wrangler that, like I said, I've owned for just over five years now, and I love this Jeep. So don't get me wrong when I say that I've made some mistakes in the past. This is my baby. I've loved Jeeps ever since I was 12 years old. When I saw this particular model of TJ roaming around on the streets, I just knew I was gonna have one. So while I made a previous mistake on another Jeep, which I'll get into the video a little bit later, this one, I ended up doing the right thing and purchasing it, and I've never regretted it ever since. Now these are gonna be in no particular order, but my first mistake is gonna be not buying a soft top for my Jeep. And like I said, I've owned the Jeep for five years now, and every summer when I wanna take the top off, it is always a pain. So if you're like me, and you wanna take the top on and off often, if you're in a climate where it does change often, unlike California where you can leave the top off almost all of the time, then I would definitely recommend going with a soft top. And the reason being, I've managed to damage not only the body of my Jeep over the last five years, but the top itself as well. So if you're taking the top on and off often, then I would definitely recommend just going with a soft top and just saving yourself a lot of time and hassle. Uh, I will leave a link in the description of the soft top that I'm looking at. It's called a Rampage top, and it's a frameless top, and it's just really easy to take on and off. So I will leave that link down below if you want to take a peek at that. Now make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you something pretty cool, so stay tuned. All right, number two is going to come with a little bit of a backstory, but what it is is to always have your Jeep checked out by a shop before you buy it. This one has bit me in the butt. And I was 18 years old. It was a stupid thing, but it was a Jeep Wrangler TJ, not unlike the one that I currently have, but it was an 01 Sahara. I saw it online and decided I want that Jeep right there. So what I did is I bought it sight unseen and had it delivered to me from Idaho. So after it got delivered, I realized slowly that there seemed to be some issues with the Jeep. So I took it to a shop and oh my God, they're about every issue that you could think of this Jeep had when it came to driveline, it needed a new rear differential, the lift kit was put on wrong, there was electrical issues, and so on and so forth. So just please make sure, learn from me, and get your Jeep checked out by a shop before you purchase it. Okay, these next three mistakes are three that could easily have been avoided if I would have taken a little bit more time and done a little bit more research before I made my purchase. So number three specifically is gonna be when I chose my first set of tires for the Jeep. So when I first bought my Jeep, it definitely didn't have these big old meats on it. It came with the original tire size and obviously it's a Jeep and most people are looking to upgrade that size after purchase and that's what I wanted to do too. The only problem was I didn't know anything about tires and when I went to a tire shop, they talked me into a 31 inch tire by 10 and a half, which is really not what I was looking for. But because I didn't do enough research, I ended up going smaller than I wanted to and was very unhappy with the result. So make sure you're doing your research when it comes to your tires because when I bought them, I was unhappy with the look. I was unhappy with the, the width of the tire. It just looked small and it was a very little step up versus what I actually wanted for the Jeep. So unfortunately, I kind of got burned on that one. I should have done more research ahead of time. I'll throw up a picture of what those tires did look like. They were just a cheap Kelly tire that I ended up regretting almost immediately after I bought it, but drove around on it for a few years before making that change into this tire because after that large purchase, I knew I was gonna be losing money on the tire if I were to sell it. So if I would have done a little bit more research up front, then I wouldn't have made that mistake. And I would have ended up probably be buying a nicer tire like this one. These tires here, the Nitto Ridge Grapplers that I've been super happy with. I've upgraded to a 33 by 12 and a half, which is more of the size that I wanted. The G4 looks beefy now. It looks the way that I want and it performs the way that I want because those tires before, they were bad in the snow. They weren't great for off-roading. I just made too quick of a decision 
and didn't think about the long term of my Jeep. So don't do what I did and just buy the first tire that somebody offers to you. Just make sure you're buying something that's gonna hold up a long time, that's gonna perform the way that you want and also be the size that you want so that you can enjoy it for the long term because these tires are gonna last you a very long time. Now my fourth mistake is gonna go hand in hand with the third because they happened at the same time and that is the wheels that I purchased along with the tires. Now, I really like the way that these wheels look. The only issue was when I purchased them, nobody told me what an offset was. Now, I should have done some research and figured this out beforehand so that I didn't make this mistake initially, but hopefully I can tell you guys just so that you don't make the same mistake that I did. When it comes to the offset, basically, uh, the more offset that you have, the further the tire is gonna stick out past your fender flare, and it's gonna give it a little bit more of a beefy look. And that's what I was hoping for when I bought these wheels. But without knowing what to ask for, I didn't have any idea that I needed to have a larger offset in order for those tires to stick out past the fender flares. Now, what I did to fix that was I put a 1.25 inch wheel spacer on the inside of the wheel uh, allowing that to get pushed out, but it's not the ideal situation. So do your research when it comes to the offset that you want and how far you want the wheel to stick out from the fender flares. And that way it'll save you uh, a little bit of effort and time when it comes to having the look that you want when it comes to your wheels. All right, and the fifth and final mistake that I made with my Jeep has to do with my winch. More specifically, my winch line that I ended up buying. Uh, now that I've done some research, I wish I would have went with a synthetic line. And the reason being just has to do with a little bit more about the safety of using a winch. And once a steel cable is contracted, and if you see any type of breakage or failure from it, that can really whip off and cause a lot of damage to somebody if they were nearby. And uh, safety is always first when it comes to off-roading. Uh, you wanna be as safe as possible Possible. This material might even be a little bit more uh, long-term, durable, um, probably even stronger than a synthetic line, which is what I ended up wanting to get um, now that uh, I've done a little bit more research. But as far as the safety is concerned, uh, that, uh, that synthetic line is just gonna drop straight to the ground if there's any type of breakage. And that's really more what I prefer, would prefer. Um, as well as the uh, synthetic line just being easier to roll and keep looking nice on the Jeep itself. Uh, just a little bit nicer looking at, but now that I've made this purchase, I'm probably gonna stick with this uh, line for quite some time, um, but I'll probably end up switching over to synth that synthetic line when I do uh, end up needing to replace it. Okay guys, I told you, if you made it to the end, that I'd show you something pretty cool. This is Memorial Falls in the Little Belt Mountains of Montana. Just made a short hike up here to show you guys. So I appreciate you watching. If you did just buy a Jeep or looking at modding your current Jeep, consider checking out this video with 10 mods to upgrade the look of your Jeep DJ. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.